Hey everyone, it's Anna Runyon, founder and CEO of Classy Career Girl. Welcome back to our membership site secrets masterclass. In last week's episode, we talked about how to turn your passion into recurring revenue. And I walked you through some questions to help you figure out what your passion was. Because as you guys know, our mission here at Classy Career Girl is career fulfillment for all women. And in this week, we're exploring membership sites and how that can enable you to have a career that you love and to create a business that you love. And this week, I want to talk about how to create content for your membership site because I know in your business, you probably want more time and you probably want more freedom, but when you're creating a membership site, you probably think that that is not going to allow you more time and freedom because you're always going to be on this content hamster wheel. And I will tell you, I have had this same fear because I've lived it. I started a membership site in 2014, my very first membership site. It was called the Get Ahead Club and I was on the content hamster wheel. And I actually had to end up closing that membership site before my daughter was born because my daughter was about to be here, arrive any day, and I was on that content hamster wheel. I was struggling and majorly stressed every month before the next month. I was frantically trying to create, come up with the content for that membership site. I felt like I was never doing enough. I was never planned well ahead of time. And my membership numbers showed because I had 50 members and I just stayed there. It was completely plateauing. So every month, some members would leave and some members would come and I could not figure it out. And so I ended up having to close it. And it was kind of a failure at the time, but what I learned by closing that membership site by failing, I learned so much that allowed me now to a few years later create two membership sites that are successful, that are growing. You know, in six months, we went from 100 members to 500 members just with some of these principles that I'm teaching you today and that are in our guide that you can download below. So it is possible. It doesn't have to stress you out. And I want to teach you today how I create content and the things that I've learned about creating content that I hope are going to help you too. And the first one is a big one. The first thing I learned is that if you're overwhelmed creating content, your members are overwhelmed too. This was huge for me because I thought that I had to give, 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 and my members would stay the more I give. This is completely false. So if you're worried about how much content you have to create, you can create way less than you think you need to. And I have the numbers to prove it because in one of my membership sites, Love Your Career Formula, uh, for women who are going through a career change and figuring out what their ideal career fit is, we discovered that when I decreased the Q&A sessions that we were having and I decreased the content that I was giving every week, our retention numbers increased. Amazing. Less work for me and my retention numbers went up. So just know that you don't have to give so much. Less is more when it comes to a membership site. In addition, another thing I've learned is batching all the content ahead of time. So when you're not giving as much, you can create three to six months worth of content in a day or two rather than being on the hook every month to create next month's content. That is not what you want to do. You want to batch it as far as you can ahead of time and create as much content you, as you can in a focused one or two day period. And you can do that through interviewing other people so you're not always on the hook. Um, you could do it by creating videos and then transcribing those videos. There's a lot of different ways that you can create content in your membership site. But for today's video, I just want to decrease the stress that you probably have about creating a membership site and let you know that you don't need to be overwhelmed creating the content because if you're overwhelmed, your members are overwhelmed too. The other thing that is really important is creating a calendar for the year. And this is something I did not have. And not only does it help you to have a calendar, so a 12 month calendar, so you know all the content that's coming, but then you can give that to your members and they can see what's coming up. Now, if it's March and you tell them something really amazing is coming in September, do you think they'll be more likely to stay in your membership site? Yes. 
And what you'll quickly learn is that retention is everything. Retention is so much more important than launching and bringing in new members. You wanna keep the members that you have happy and moving through the content in your membership site. So creating that 12 month calendar is also key for your members and your retention numbers. And I wanna give you one last secret to creating content for your membership site. You do not have to do this alone. You do not have to come up with all of the ideas for your membership site. Let your members tell you what they want and what they need. So if you're just starting a membership site and you're like, how the heck am I going to come up with all of this content? The whole benefit of having a membership site is you create the content around them. So I'm always surveying. I'm always doing polls in our Facebook group. I'm always asking them questions to see what they want coming up next in the calendar because I'm creating this for them, right? Like I want their feedback. And so constantly be asking them feedback, be be doing surveys, being asking your ideal audience what questions they have. You want your the content in your membership site to be answering the problems that they have. So every single month there's content, but it's helping them solve their problems. Now you don't even always have to be on the hook for the content either. You could interview someone else. So maybe you're not an expert in a certain area. Like for example, one time I brought in a lawyer who did training in my membership site because I am not a lawyer and I cannot give legal advice, but she came in and that provided value that month. And I was not on the hook to come up with a training, but that type of stuff can add value to your membership site when you interview outside experts and bring in that content to your membership site. You can also feature your members. That's content for your membership site. It doesn't have to be a Q&A with you. It can be worksheets or guides. Just remember that less is more and you do not have to overwhelm yourself or your members. The secret with a membership site is that you're solving a problem. So every month when you're creating that content, you want it to be able to help your members solve their problem and help them progress to getting to solve their problem. Help them progress through the path to the success and the result that they want. It's not about consuming content, a membership site. I will repeat that again, over and over again. It's not about giving a lot of content. It's not about them consuming content. It's helping them solve problems. So maybe there's not even a a content that you need to provide to help them solve their problems. Maybe it's a tool, maybe it's a resource, maybe it's a subscription box, maybe it's something you mail them, maybe it's a planner or a book. Think of ways, creative ways, that you can help them solve their problem because that's what they're going to pay for you month after month if you can help them solve their problem. All right, so I hope I covered some ground here and I decreased your stress about creating content for your membership site. In next week's video, I am going to help you figure out how to grow your audience for your membership site because I know this is a common concern. How do I grow my audience so that I can launch a membership site? So we're going to cover that in next week's video of our membership site secrets masterclass. So for now, make sure you've joined us in our private pop-up Facebook group that's going over all kinds of questions and helping you out in growing and launching your membership site. Also, we have a guide, Six Secrets to a Profitable, Successful Membership Site that you also want to download that has six more secrets that I'm sharing with you about my five years of running a successful membership site. So stay tuned and I will see you for next week's video.